All right, Walker, who is the gold standard? Who is the most innovative manufacturer in the world? The most innovative manufacturer in the world, the gold standard is Tesla. Why? Two reasons. The reason Tesla's killing the market, and I think manufacturers in general are not taking Tesla seriously enough. Manufacturers themselves aren't taking them seriously enough, but the market is. The market takes them seriously. As a manufacturer, as a company that makes products, the reason they're the gold standard is because their products get better after they make them. So the fundamental difference between buying a Tesla and buying, you know, I drive a Cadillac XTS from General Motors. Big Cadillac fan, we own a couple of them. I love Cadillacs. When I bought that Cadillac, and drove it off the lot, the moment I drove it off the lot, it started to depreciate. There's that old adage that the second you drive it off the lot, it's fi worth $5,000 less than when I bought it. And we just accept that, right? Which we do. But the car that I drive today, you know, I drive a 2016 Cadillac XDS. I've had it, you know, for four years, five years now. It's got 100,000 miles on it. Beautiful car, still love it. It is the exact same car that I drove off the lot in 2016. It hasn't changed in any way, shape, or form. And the factory that it was built in hasn't changed, right? Cadillac, what General Motors does is General Motors improve, their improvement cycle, life cycle, is a year-to-year -year process. We acquire data from the cars that we built in 2016, and then we apply that to the engineering of the cars that we build in 2017. It's a year by year process. Tesla is killing all other US manufacturers because if I had bought a Tesla, if I had bought a Tesla in 2016, the car that I would have today sitting in the parking lot right now would be better than the car I bought in 2016. Their product gets better after you buy it. Why? Because they're connected to that product. And they're also connected to the manufacturing operations, but they're connected, they learn from all the products that they have out there. They're collecting data, they're connected, they're collecting data and they learn from it and, they, and then they push software updates to make the car better, to get you more battery life as you drive it down the road, to improve features that are already exist in the car. The car gets better after you buy it and they're not the only company that does that. The reason that smartphones took over is not because they had all uh, lots of features that dumb phones didn't have, but a dumb phone didn't get better after you bought it. A smartphone with software updates and patches gets better. The same GPS sensor that I have living in that board hasn't changed at all. It's literally the exact same sensor, but the way the software or the firmware interacts with that sensor is what changes. And so the products are smart and they get better over time. So as a manufacturer, as a manufacturer of products, the reason they're killing the market is because their products get better after you buy them. So while the value continue as an asset, its asset value goes down, its practical value to the user goes up over time. That is why they're different as a manufacturer of products. But more importantly, they are a elite manufacturer. That is, they've achieved nearly the holy grail in manufacturing because of, they've adopted widely industry 4.0 methodologies right? They have created an industrial internet of things within their ecosystem. They don't treat data as a commodity. They treat data as a resource, one for everyone, everyone to use. They enable innovation on the plant floor. They're not the only company who does this, but we use Tesla as an illustration of how a digitally transformed organization can take over an entire market by collecting data and information and reacting to it in real, in real time. So for example, car manufacturer A estimates how much it costs to manufacture the car that's in front of me. So the operator, as my product is coming down the assembly line, they do not know how much it costs to manufacture that product directly in front of them. There's no KPI to tell an operator whether that product is ahead or behind financial plan. And that can be a motivator for an operator to step on the gas, right? And a, an emotional reaction for the operator to step on the gas and get maybe get that through the cell faster so that we can, we can catch up Okay, on an industry 3.0 manufacturer estimates those numbers. Those numbers are at a, if you look at the ISA 95 standard part one for manufacturing operations management, and you look at what that data is supposed to, that's at like a monthly level. It says at the monthly or weekly level, right? 
the and it, t the Teslas of the world, that's real time data at at level three. Okay, at the, at, the, at the MOM layer. So the reason we we talk about this is that not only does Tesla make smart products, products that get better after consumers buy them, which is fundamentally different than how their competitors approach, you know, creating products. Okay, number one. But more importantly. Tesla approaches their operations differently than their competitors, right? And now Tesla had some huge advantages, okay? Number one, Tesla was started after the fourth industrial revolution, okay? So when the Gigafactory was built, Elon Musk got to mandate to his people that they're going to build the perfect manufacturing facility from the ground up, okay? Now, he has unique leadership and he has unique insights into the value of data and information as a resource for people on the plant floor to innovate. He has insight that other leaders of other manufacturers don't have. Okay, that sets him apart. But other manufacturers can copy what it is he's doing, right? Create data and information as it, treat data and information as a resource and not a commodity. An industry 3.0 manufacturer treats data and information as a commodity to share conservatively, mm. right? They don't see it as commit data and information as something we inject into the ecosystem. into the ecosystem like and 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 leverage the human resources we have on the plant floor to turn that information into innovation, right? Mm. Okay, so what is digital transformation, right? So digital transformation is the process of an industry 3.0 company trying to become an industry 4.0 company so they can compete with companies who started during the fourth industrial revolution. The, the simple reality is that manufacturers today who have 130 years of experience manufacturing or 50 years manufacturing, that is an, al that is a, an asset for them, but more, it, it's much more likely that it's an albatross around their neck. Tesla was able to be created because it wasn't held back by the things that a legacy manufacturer counts as gospel, right? So what is digital transformation? 2021, the 2021 definition. So the last time we did this video, we actually never have shot a video called what is digital transformation? We did do a video a couple of years ago, which is you know the difference between IIoT, Industry 4.0 and digital transformation. In a nutshell, IIoT is the ecosystem that we create when we're digitally transforming an organization. Industry 4.0 is simply the fourth industrial revolution. It's the movement, it's the time the in, in place that we, that we have, okay? Now, it, what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is the process that an Industry 3.0 organization goes through to become an Industry 4.0 organization. And what, is, what are you trying to achieve with an Industry 4.0 organization? You want the holy grail, okay, of manufacturing.